Hello students, this is Dr. Nitara, Geochemistry Mentor, welcoming you for another session in Polymers. In this session, we are going to see about the free radical mechanism, that too by taking an important example, that is a mechanism of formation of polyvinyl chloride, okay? Actually, in free radical mechanism, it consists of uh, three steps, okay? So, there are uh, three steps in free radical mechanisms and they are chain initiation, chain propagation, and chain termination okay so now we are going to see one by one how this chain initiation takes place and what are the products formed in chain initiation and what happens in chain propagation and what happens in chain termination okay actually this uh, chain initiation it involves uh, two reactions first one is the formation of free radicals by homolytic dissociation of a peroxide okay so as i told you there are two types of reactions the first reaction is formation of free radicals so that is the main thing here in uh, this free radical mechanism formation of free radicals by homolytic homo means same lytic means breaking so homolytic uh, dissociation of a peroxide okay so let me explain first uh, with a, uh, a general uh, uh, example let us take i this is nothing but initiator we call this as initiator okay so now this initiator on heating okay when we heat this initiator it forms a, uh, two free radicals normally the free radicals will be represented by a dot at the top okay so this is a free radical now i'm going to give an example with this let us uh, take into account a peroxide okay or c o o o and again on o c r okay so this is a peroxide and this R represents uh, some alkyl groups, okay? When this uh, peroxide is heated, okay? When it's heated, this undergoes homolytic dissociation. Homo means same, okay? Same, right? Say here also we have the same uh, group and here also we have the same group. So, this is a homolytic fission, okay? Homolytic lys ly lysis means breaking, okay? Homolytic fission and it forms two free radicals, two R dot, okay? Plus remaining, see if this R is going, we'll have CO2. Here also we'll be having CO2. So 2R plus 2CO2. Okay. So 2CO2. So thus, a free radical is formed during the first reaction of chain initiation. Okay. So we have got this a free radical. Now let us see what happens in the second uh, reaction in chain initiation. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, in a uh, a chain initiation in the second uh, reaction the free radical that is formed combines with vinyl chloride okay actually we are preparing polyvinyl chloride pvc okay pvc polyvinyl chloride so the monomer in polyvinyl chloride is vinyl chloride okay so vinyl chloride is the monomer in polyvinyl chloride so what happens is this free radical it combines with the vinyl chloride to form a chain initiating species okay so it is forming a chain initiating species That's so let me explain how it forms now let us take one free radical okay r r is the free radical formed in the first reaction is not this combines with a vinyl chloride vinyl chloride formula ch2 double bond ch okay cl this is vinyl chloride okay vinyl chloride now, this vinyl chloride, it combines, okay, with a free radical. Now, this a free radical combines with a vinyl chloride. So, what happens? We get the initiating species R bond CH2, single bond CH, CH, Cl, okay. See what's happening? This, uh, a bond is formed between this R and CH2. And now, what happens to this free radical dot? It comes here, okay. So, we will put the dot here. Okay. So, now a bond is formed. So, this is called as chain initiating species. Okay. Chain initiating. Initiating species. Understood. So, in chain initiation, first a free radical is formed. And then what happens in the second reaction? This free radical will be combining with the monomer. And it forms a chain initiating species. 
So in a chain initiating species, it's a must, you should put the dot. If you are not putting the dot, then there will be no meaning, okay? So now let us see the next uh, step that is chain propagation, okay? So the next step is chain propagation. Actually what happens in the chain propagation step is, the chain initiating species that is formed in the first step, the chain initiating species, okay? The chain initiating species that is formed in the first step now reacts with large number of vinyl chloride. So it will be uh, reacting with a large number of vinyl chloride, okay? Large number of vinyl chloride molecules to form a living polymer or this is another, otherwise called as growing polymer, okay? This living polymer is otherwise called as growing a polymer, understood? So this is what's happening in chain propagation. So in chain propagation, the chain initiating species which is formed in the first step, that is chain initiation step, now reacts with large number of vinyl chloride molecules that is monomers and it forms a living polymer which is otherwise called as a growing polymer. Okay, let me write the chain initiating species that is formed in the uh, first step. Okay, R, CH2, single bond, CH, CL. So, dot, <coughs> this is the chain initiating species that is formed in the first step. Now, this chain initiating species now reacts with Again, vinyl chloride. But what happens here? Number of vinyl chloride molecules will be uh, combining. So how will be? Uh, how will you uh, represent the a large number of vinyl chloride molecules by putting n in the front? This n represents a number of molecules of vinyl chloride are uh, getting attached to this chain initiating species. Can you understand? Now what happens is this this. Uh, one will be combining with this, okay, and again this will be forming the uh, dot, okay. Now let us write R, come on, follow me, R, CH2, single bond, CH, CL, okay. Then again a bond, single bond will be formed between this CH and CH2, and again this bond will be getting converted to a dot. Now R, come on, write R. CH2, single bond, CH, CEL, single bond, CH2, single bond, CH, come on, CL, and here we can put a dot. Okay, now again, we will now see this, uh, this unit is getting repeated again and again. We want to put this N somewhere, is it not? Because we are we are using large number of vinyl chloride molecules. So now, so look at these two, CH2, CH2, CH, CH, CL, CL. So the same group will be getting repeated. So here we, want, we are going to put N in the suffix here at the bottom, okay? See here, we are going to put N here. This shows that this unit is getting repeated large number of this unit is getting repeated again and again in this living polymer. So since because it's not possible for us to bring out all the molecules in this space, uh, we are writing as N number. Okay, this is the repeating unit, vinyl chloride molecule. Okay, so here we are putting N. So while writing, you should be very careful. Don't put uh, N here. Okay, we should not put N here. We should put N here because if you are putting N here, then it is not possible to put the dot, okay? So, this is this is not the end product, okay? So, this is an intermediate product. Actually, this is an intermediate product. And this is called as the growing living polymer. So, this is otherwise called as the living polymer or the growing polymer. So, now we are going moving into the next step, that is the final step, chain termination, okay? Actually, in uh, chain termination, there are two types of uh, chain terminating uh, reactions. One is a uh, uh, coupling or a combination. The next one is a disproportionation. Okay? There are two types of chain, chain termination processes. One is coupling, which is otherwise called as combination. The next one is uh, disproportionation. Okay? So, let us see one by one. Let us see what is happening in coupling or combination. Okay? Actually, this involves the coupling of one free radical chain with another free radical chain to form a polymer. So, what does this free radical chain mean? This free radical chain is nothing but it is the living polymer which is formed in the second uh, uh, step that is chain propagation. Okay, Living polymer that is formed in the uh, second step. 
okay that that is what called as a free radical chain okay so this involves a coupling or combination involves the coupling of one free radical chain with another free radical chain to form a polymer that's why this living polymer is otherwise called as growing chain or growing polymer can you understand so now let me explain how this forms okay let me write the uh, living polymer uh, first uh, r ch2 single bond ch cl bond ch2 single bond ch cl dot this is the living polymer here we want to put n and do you remember this is the thing we got in chain propagation as a product that is a living polymer see here it should not forget to put this dot okay now what is happening in coupling one living polymer that is one free radical chain will be coupling with another free radical chain to form the final polymer which is called as the dead polymer okay that is called as the dead that is that why we are calling it as dead polymer that is a final product so let me write one more uh, free radical chain here i am going to write one more living polymer or growing chain here okay but while writing just invert this okay mean this should come first okay and next comes this like that it should come so how will you write ch dot cl single bond ch2 single bond ch cl ch2 r okay now we want to put a uh, n here okay we should put n here so just the reverse i have written here now what happens as i told you there is a coupling or combination reaction so just an adduct will be formed okay now these two will be getting combined this will combine so that we will get the product like this r ch just uh, combine everything that is all ch2 ch cl close the bracket put n here we are writing the whole thing okay so ch2 single bond ch instead of putting dot instead of putting dot we are supposed to put a bond between these two uh, radicals free radicals okay now i have put a bond between these two after putting the bond you are supposed not to put this dot okay since this is the dead polymer or the n product now again ch i am writing this one okay and ch cl ch2 single bond ch single bond ch2 r okay close the brackets here we will have cl okay so this here we will be having n times so this is called as the dead polymer okay this is called as the dead polymer understood let us see what happens in the uh, next uh, type of reaction chain termination reaction that is a disproportionation okay so in uh, the next is type that is disproportionation this involves the transfer of hydrogen atom from one free radical center to another free radical center see what is happening here transfer of hydrogen atom is there from one free radical center to another free radical center so due to this we will be getting the end product as one will be a saturated uh, polymer and another will be an unsaturated polymer okay so two types of products will be obtained in disproportionation reaction due to transfer of hydrogen atom from one free radical center to another free radical center so one of the product will be a saturated one and another product will be an uh, unsaturated polymer can you see okay can you can you understand now let us see how it happens let me write the uh, living polymer once again r ch2 single bond ch cl single bond now close the bracket put n here then again ch2 single bond ch cl dot hope you uh, remember this see this is the living polymer or the growing chain which is formed in chain propagation step okay so i am writing the uh, next uh, same thing i am going to write again so a plus ch dot cl ch2 ch ch2 again cl close close the bracket okay then again n 
here we put R, okay, close the bracket. So, we have written two living polymers, okay, we have written two living polymers. Now, what's happening here? I told you earlier, there is transfer of hydrogen atom, okay. So, transfer of hydrogen atom is from this free radical to this one, okay, to this carbon center. So, one hydrogen is being shifted from this carbon to this carbon center, okay. So, now what happens? Let me write the product now. So, write it R, CH2, other things will be remaining as such. CH, CL, close the bracket, put N here, CH2, I am writing this one, CH2, then CH, see, since one hydrogen atom is getting transferred to this one, this CH dot becomes CH2, okay, this becomes CH2. Now, Cl, okay, this is one product plus, see, due to, there is, uh, see, one hydrogen has been transferred here. So, automatically, this becomes a double bond. So, this is a saturated compound and this will be an unsaturated compound. Now, let me write CH, Cl, double bond. Since this carbon is losing one hydrogen, here we will get a double bond, okay, CH, CH. Again, you write the rest of the things. Cl, close the bracket, CH2, N times R, okay. So, here we have got the unsaturated polymer. This is unsaturated. Why unsaturated? Because there is a double bond, okay. Unsaturated polymer, okay. Whereas this is a saturated polymer, no double bond. So, this is a saturated polymer polymer. Okay. So, two types of products are formed in disproportionation. One is saturated polymer and another one is unsaturated polymer. But both of them are called dead polymers. Both of them are called the dead polymers. Okay. Both are called as dead polymers. That is the final product. Okay. Well, fine students, I hope you might have understood what I have taught today. Let me meet you with another important topic in my next session. Until then, it's Dr. Anita Raji, Chemistry Mentor, signing off from me. Thanks for watching.